in your day. Cats wearing the red and pumped. Wasting no time against Monroe. Gino Gadulli airing it out. Doing that thing. Fade to John Olinger. 7-0 Bearcats, and they kept it turned up. Looks to me like the same route here. Nope. Punching it in. Gadulli throwing that ball. Here's the same route to Olinger. Cats scored 21 unanswered points first quarter. Gadulli can throw three TD passes. This one for 24 yards to Ray Jackson. Gino gets some rest, and George Murray comes on the scene. Doing some handy work himself. Watch this throw. Ty Keith, 35-yard connection. UC wins in convincing fashion. Final UC 42. Monroe 10. UC closes the season at 7-4 and four and gets set to bowl. It was a good win for us. We came out in the first quarter, and we played like we thought we could play. And we put some points up. And then uh, Louisiana Monroe came back, and they're a good team. And they schemed us a little bit. And uh, they stopped us. And then we came out at halftime and, and then put it on again. It's nice to go bowling again. I mean, you know, two years ago, we went in a bowl at all. And to be in a bowl for the second year in a row, you know, that's a great accomplishment for our team. Our Dan Horde, the voice of the Cats, caught up with head coach Rick Menner afterwards to talk about today's game and UC's bowl destination. For the second straight year, the Bearcats finished the regular season 7-4. and four. More importantly, for the second straight year, they are headed to the Motor City Bowl. Coach, congratulations. Back-to-back -back bowl trips in this program has not happened for a long time. Well, it's a credit to our young men who never say die all year long. You know, we've had some cardiac finishes. It wasn't quite that way today, but I couldn't be more proud for our team and our coaches and our fans who now have an opportunity to uh, show that we're a good bowl team by going to uh, Detroit once again. Four weeks from today in Detroit against Toledo, a team that looked very impressive last night in beating Marshall. Oh, there's no question. Uh, we just had a sneak preview, as you mentioned, watching the MAC title game and uh, know that we got our hands full. Won the team we played last year and the one that we'll be playing this year. And and uh, you watched it with that anticipation. Probably felt good about going to the Motor City Bowl. But, boy, that tell you what, they're good. But for the next 48 hours, the next couple of days, we're going to relish the win. We're going to relish our season. We're going to celebrate our seniors uh, at the banquet tomorrow night. And we're not going to worry about Toledo. But when we do... We're going to have our hands full. <laughs> he came out against Louisiana Monroe and took care of business today. Gino Gadouli did not play the entire game, but passed for more than 200 yards and three, three, three TD passes. Well, we really weren't very sharp today. I, I give our kids credit for getting up for this type of ball game this late in the year. It's the makeup game, if you will. And we had a bold bid, I thought, secured. And our second place in the Conference USA was secured. So, you know, we had to come out and uh, crank up the engine, if you will, and, uh, and stay focused on what we had to get done. Much more from Coach Minter coming up tomorrow morning at 11.30 on Inside UC Football. Right now, let's go back to Greg in the studio. So, UC will go to the Motor City Bowl, meeting Toledo, the MAC champ, December 29th at noon in the Silverdome.